Hello and welcome. It's Jilly Cube and I'm here on the sunny coast in Queensland, Australia. Um, I'm going to do, as per request, a flip cut pour. Easy, down to basics, a very basic flip cut pour in bright and uplifting colours. Now I'm trying my flip cut pour has no It'll be a flip and lip. You'll see what I mean when I do it. My um, paints have got no silicone in. I have put a bit of Floetrol in each colour, so hoping I'll get the same results that I would do by putting silicone in just with Floetrol. So I've got lots of uh, bright colours left over here from the um, pores that I've been doing this week. So I'm going to use them up, rightio. I'm going to, what are you growling at? My dog is gnawing on a bone and growling at somebody that she thinks might come in and pinch her bone. Rightio. <coughs> hey, hey, Rosie, shh, shh. Um, this is the fluoro orange. So I'm gonna go through my colors and Hopefully it's bright and uplifting and comes out with a few uh, nice cells in it. So this is a really easy and basic technique. I think that probably definitely started with flip cut pours when I very first started my uh, acrylic pouring journey. So they're nice and easy to do and you usually get some encouraging results. So always good for a beginner. Just this. Rosie, who are you barking at? This um, purple, I put a bit of the dragonfly glaze in it and it gives it a really lovely sparkle. So where's the dragonfly glaze, she said. This is the dragonfly glaze. So it's just a really, well, you can actually make metallic paint out of any if you put the dragonfly glaze in it. So I think in the US, UK and Australia, we can get this dragonfly glaze. Um, and I love putting it in my resin too, because it gives a really nice um, glistening effect in the resin. So okie doke, that's that. And now I'll go back to white. So you can pour it sort of in and wiggle it, or you can pour it down the sides. That's a completely personal. Personal, okie doke, where shall I go now? I'll go this lovely turquoise. And each one, kind of basically putting the same colors in each cup. Um, this paint is on the thicker side, a little bit on the thicker side. So I've been doing some um, wiggles pour and balloon kisses and I find that having the paint on the thicker side uh, stops the paint from muddying up when you mix so many colours. This is the nice cool red, or is it warm red? I'll get them mixed up when they're cool and the warm. Um, and I'm gonna put some metallic gold in here. So always by adding the metallic, seems to run all the sparkly bits through the whole lot of your piece from the metallic in there. So that should be nice. Oh, I'll go back to my purple. Always like a dark color in there to give it a bit of a pop instead of black. I suppose that's, you know, it's nice instead of black. Let's use all this up. That's a really nice dark purple. It's very nice. Right, yeah, that's that one. Um, my I'll go back to now I've got some yellow here but I just didn't want it I'm gonna put a bit in but it has a tendency to sometimes if we've got blues in there which I've got the turquoise send them green so but anyway give it a little try and then I've got a little bit of the uh, Amsterdam I think it's bluish green and it's just got Floetrol in it. I had this for doing cells in a previous swipe. So I'm just gonna put a bit on the top, see if it 
helps me out with any nice cells in there. Um, and then top off with a little bit of white, I guess. So back to basic. Have a go. If you've never acrylic poured, this is a nice, easy technique and usually do get good results, so <laughs> hope so. Rightio, this is my nice little canvas. I'm going to just plop it over. Oh, look at that. Plop them over, plop that one over. Just three small cups on this. This is only, a, I think it's a 30 by 20 canvas. So it's only a small canvas and I'm gonna literally flip the cup and lift and then I will probably ooh that was do you know what probably got too much paint here now looking at that this is a lip you lip in the paint through it gives a nice ooh. okay I probably could have just done with two of those that's okay those colours are just divine. Just nice, gentle tilt. Take it nice and slow. I probably did that one a little bit fast. Over your edges. You can collect any runoff paint, scrape it up, put it in a container and reuse it if you so choose to. But look at that gorgeous effect already. I've got some lovely cells popping up. And there's no silicone in that just a bit of flow troll. I don't measure anything, so I couldn't tell you how much. I just put a squirt in. Oh, that's very pretty. Look at that. Oh, wow. That's gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Now I'm gonna just hit it with my heat wand, all the cells that are coming up in that, like boulders. So it's really good to do that style if you want to do an abstract landscape piece. Righty go. Hit it with my heat wand. That's very simple and it will continue on developing. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna bring you down and have a look at these lovely effects in there. Now, it would be a nice idea to do just one. Might do it, do it, do it. Okay. This is just a little offset spatula, just a little one, like a spoon end. And I'm gonna just do this is just Amsterdam black paint with Australian Floetrol only, and I'm gonna do one Aussie slide through it. One, promise. Well, I shouldn't promise anything. Okie doke, let's do this. Oh, wowzers, trousers. Oh my goodness, it's come up like gems. Oh, that is so pretty. I need to bring you down. I nearly, uh, I went into my local hardware store today for some more flow troll. And I used to get four litres of flow troll here in Australia for around $50. The flow troll now has gone up to $69 for four litres. Ridiculously expensive, considering it's made in Australia. I'm just gonna leave it at that one. I'm gonna bring you down to have a look at it. Oh my goodness, just look at the effect from that one swipe. They truly are like precious gems and they're glistening away. That will dry beautifully. Paint will absorb into the canvas and it will give a really lovely effect. And look at those there, they're like ghost cells I call them um, but that just through this one smaller canvas that's probably all it needs for a really nice effect that is my dog just munching away on a bone so sorry 
I thought, oh, this will keep her quiet. But, well, look, that looks like a whale and a whale's eye in there. So, my lovelies, if you haven't yet jumped into the acrylic pour, and I've had so many comments that they're watching, watching, but they haven't yet had a go, try this one. You can get some cheaper paints from your discount store and mix them the same with a bit of clear glue, or if you're in the US, Elmer's Glue All is perfect. Mixed with a bit of warm water. The recipes are underneath in the drop down box. Give it a go. Flow. It's <laughs> absolutely so much fun and enjoyable. All right, until tomorrow, please take care, my lovelies. If you're feeling sad, lonely, depressed, please ring a family member or a friend. And if not, a helpline. There's always someone there to help you. Do not suffer alone in silence. Seek help, my lovelies. Until tomorrow, bye for now.